So what can we do? Well, I think one of the things, um, uh, one of our guests here tonight is just in from Philadelphia, is Ed, who's a friend, long-term friend who works for the big homeless shelter in Philadelphia. And was talking about how here the vulnerable people are often the undocumented. And in Philadelphia, it's people who are really poor, you know. And, uh, and Ed was saying it's good that we have this here because it's in his heart while he's working with poor people in Philadelphia. We're here. I find that touching and I feel like we're with Ed when he's working with the homeless people in Philadelphia as well. And, and so thank you for that. Yeah, really sweet. Yeah. Moving to me, you know. And so that we can do that. If we come to the temple and hold the temple, it's good for people who aren't even here. Yeah? Because we're in their hearts and they're, they're in ours. So it's a good thing to know and to remember that, that when you meditate and when you open your heart, you're doing it for other people as well. You know? And all you have to do is do it for yourself and you'll notice that it cascades out. So, so that's something I've come to trust and respect and honor over the years. So there's that. And you know, it's annoying to get up and come, particularly at night in winter, and people at Zendo is always annoying too, and you want to, all that stuff. <laughs> but there are always reasons not to do stuff, and not to cooperate, and not to, you know. But that's, our job now is to cooperate and to do things together, I think, you know, so there's that. And I had the experience of like having held out on being, a, I was here for like 30 odd years before I became a citizen, because I'm Australian originally. And I thought, you know, I don't know, it was partly inertia and dread of paperwork, but I don't know. And anyway, I decided to become a citizen a few years ago and doing the uh, Obama administration. And there was this great ceremony at, in Oakland of, um, there's a big old Art Deco theater in Oakland that some of you probably know, a gorgeous place and kind of, you know, very like hip sort of Art Deco, half-naked people on the walls and things. It was, seems very right for a citizenship. <laughs> oh, this is what I'm coming into. <laughs> it, was like, it was great. And, uh, and so, and there were 100 people from 100 countries. There were like a 1,000 people or something. They used to just like swear you in in the immigration offices, but there were too many people and it was taking too long. So they did just in a 1,000 group, you know, a, a chunk, a packet of people. And there were people from a hundred countries and they had us all stand up and there were people from, you know, Somalia and, you know, there was one other person from Australia, I think, and, and all, all over the world. And it was kind of touching, actually. And they had everybody, they had people stand up when the country was called. And I thought, oh, that's pretty good. And you know, that's a, that's a thing about variety. And, and they had a, a speaker who, um, Almost everybody who was doing the ceremony, all the government bureaucrats, they're all either Mexican or Asian. You know, they weren't, none of them were, very few um, white people. And you could tell they'd come in themselves as immigrants and then been loved and in order to serve had joined immigration, which is not what you normally think of as immigration as <laughs> doing, but for them, they were welcoming people in. I was very touched. And they were great. And, uh, and they gave these talks about, and, and the, the main speaker gave this rousing talk about everybody in this country is an immigrant unless you're a Native American, and you're all, we're all immigrants, and you've got to stand up for your rights and don't take shit from anybody. was <laughs> 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 great, you know, he's like, you know, my ancestors were sons of bitches and you should behave that way too and stand up for your rights and don't take, <laughs> I don't even know, it was so great, and okay. <laughs> and if the police hassle you and you're Mexican, Tell them you're a citizen and go away and you don't have to show them your identity and things like that. It was great. You know, so, so that was really good. I thought, wow. You know, and then the, this, the black choir of Oakland sang America the Beautiful for us, you know, which was really awesome. And uh, I happened to be just randomly, by the way, they allocated the names and stuff. I was sitting in the front row. And the, as the choir went out, I just held out my hand and these guys from the choir were holding my hand. I thought, like, you know, black people are being good to me. I, I, like, you know, I like this place. So, so that's the other side of America, is, is that um, there's always this sense of how fragile it is and how it might come apart, you know. Um, and you 
some of us, I'm old enough to remember the Vietnam era and, and how close to coming apart things felt then, you know. So that's a reality. The reality is that things are always about to come apart, you know, and that's kind of called the world, you know. And in a way that's what Buddhism is partly a solution to meditation and Zen, is that we must be in the world and we can't, it's not going to be different from what it is, but we can have our own we don't need to get consumed by the hatred ourselves, but we can fight for what we need to fight for, what's really important to us, you know. And, and also we can have some kind of spaciousness and generosity in our hearts, and that's the meditation, and that's the Kuan Yin part of the koan, right? And um, I, this koan originally, it's an old, um, it's probably a Japanese koan, I think, rather than Chinese one, but it's hard to tell. And, it's, it was only, I only ran into it handed down in the oral tradition through the Japanese temple system for a thousand years kind of thing. You know. So I don't really know um, too much about its origins, but I do know about its uses. And, and, and it, it's about empathy. It's, and it originally was take, find shelter for the homeless person. You know. But we're all homeless when we're afraid. You know. and, uh, and it starts with you. It doesn't start with someone else, you know. And how we find that is that we, we can't tell ourselves, like, shouldn't be afraid. If you're afraid, you're afraid. Or shouldn't be angry if you're angry. But inside that, you can sort of welcome your, your own experience and welcome your own life. And inside that, you'll find, uh, oh, there's this, like, moonlit compassion and loving quality, this Kuan Yin. And it's just there. If, if you try it in meditation, it'll be there. Just don't make yourself wrong. Every time you don't make yourself wrong, it's there. Every time you make yourself wrong, the demons are taking you into the underworld. <laughs> so, <laughs> the Dark Lord <laughs> has captured you in his, in his um, Cadillac Escalade and is taking you down. You know? um, so, and you notice that about yourself. And when you know that, and I think you know that about yourself, that you have that capacity of that generosity and heartfelt quality. Every time you, you're just kind or if you look at someone and just smile and open your heart, Guan Yin's there, you know, and that's you. So you are taking the form of Guan Yin. You can have a thousand arms if you want. She's good at that. She's got a thousand hands and eyes, eyes in the palm of her hand, so her action is skillful, things like that. You might feel, and there are meditations in which you become, you imagine yourself into that body of Kuan Yin, and the feminine form, you know. <clears throat> and, uh, which, you know, it's interesting meditation, but you get the point is that it's, um, it, it's you. The Kuan Yin now is you. you know, it's not someone else, you know. And you can just be loving where you can be. You know, you do what you can do and take the action you need to take. And um, be, look after the people you can look after, you know. And, and do look after yourself too, you know, it's like that.